this could be the most epic year in gaming ever. everybody how are y'all doing before i hit you with these flames bro click that like button like 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 all right we could very well in 2020 be hit with three new consoles this year doesn't happen too often by the three major platform holders but sony already confirmed they're launching the playstation 5 holiday well no they didn't confirm holiday they just said 2020 we're about to find out within the next month xbox has confirmed 2020 holiday 2020 xbox series x and the nintendo switch pro rumors are heating up credible sources are saying mid 2024 a switch Pro unit. Nintendo is known for launching their hardware with fantastic software. And I really think Nintendo is going to surprise us. A game that we don't even know is coming in 2020 could be dropping on the Switch Pro. Case in point Luigi's Mansion 3 and Link's Awakening did not launch until the same year they were announced at the beginning of last year we didn't know this was a thing it wasn't until the nintendo direct at early 2019 nintendo announced it and the game launched in october and so with that being said there is a still a big question mark to what will be coming out not just for the Nintendo Switch, because I do believe it's going to be cross-platform, backwards compatibility, the same family of systems. So whatever's coming out for the Switch Pro will just be a big title to excite people to get the Switch Pro. But if you have a current Switch model, don't be alarmed. You'll more than likely be able to play the same game on your current Switch model. Now, the biggest rumor is Zelda Breath of the Wild. And in my opinion, it makes the most sense. We know Breath of the Wild, the first game, sold like crazy on the Switch. The best-selling Zelda game in the series was Breath of the Wild, sold great on the Switch, and was a system seller, helped to push units. That's what Nintendo is going to be looking to do, push units. And so, <coughs> for this video... I'm going to share with you guys all of the possible IPs that Nintendo could announce in 2020 coming to a Switch Pro or a Switch Lite or an OG Switch near you. And this game right here. This game would put a smile on my face. A new punch. It's been a minute since we had a new punch out game. Punch out, skip the Wii U, bro. A lot of games skip the Wii U, bro. And so, Punch Out, I just beat Super Punch Out on the Super Nintendo on my Switch in one sitting in like an hour on my gaming channel. Obi Wan plays gaming championship. Dope, dope, dope stuff. But a return by Little Mac. And a lot of dudes only know Little Mac from Smash. He has his own game, bro. Punch Out. I'm down for a 2020 Punch-Out game, a big game that so many fans are clamoring for, and I really think this could be a likely a likely candidate for a Switch Pro launch, F-Zero. One, Mario Kart 8 is still selling like crazy. Don't hold your breath for a Mario Kart 9. 
two, this is all, Nintendo's other racing franchise. And three, it is a graphical, it could possibly be a graphical showcase for what the Switch Pro could do. Just imagine lightning fast frame rates, particles, tons of cars on the track at one time. This is old GameCube SD footage. <laughs> and the game still holds up pretty well on the GameCube. Just imagine a brand new F-Zero game on the Switch Pro. Another game that is a likely candidate and rumors are heating up of some kind of Pikmin announcement at this next Nintendo Direct. The Pikmin 3 website has shut down. All signs pointing to a new Pikmin game or a Pikmin 3 remastered according to Emily Rogers she's saying that a Wii U game is coming another Wii U port is coming to the switch this year and Pikmin is the perfect would be the perfect port I personally would want Pikmin 4 but I take Pikmin 3 with bingo battle online another game that is being negligent by Nintendo Mario Strikers bro we need a new Mario Strikers game these games were lit bro I really don't think Nintendo's done with this series it's just a matter of if I mean when not if Mario Strikers the last one we got was on the Wii didn't we get a new one on the Wii we did get a new one on the Wii and so again <laughs> another IP that skipped the Wii U Hey, we got Pikmin 3 on the Wii U, but Mario Strikers, not just Mario Strikers, but the Nintendo Sports lineup, baseball, golf, the Mario Golf games, always review well dope games, and so I think a Mario Golf game would be a perfect fit for the Switch Pro. Speaking of sports games, there's only two big IPs that I think is missing from um, the Switch. Madden, we need a Madden with DJ Khaled, but we need a Madden and we do need a Call of Duty game, bro. It's a shame that these are probably the some of the two biggest third party games still not on a Nintendo platform this generation. And don't get me wrong, the Switch is getting third party support. Call of Duty Maddie wouldn't be big, would be big. I already told you guys just the fact Mario Kart 8 right now is the best selling Nintendo Switch game and it's a Wii U port. And so I'm not going to hold my breath for a Mario Kart 9 announcement anytime this year. We just got Mario Kart Tour released on mobile. Don't get me wrong. If at the Nintendo Direct they announced Mario Kart 9, I'd be lit. But that would, they would cannibalize the Mario Kart 8 sales. So I don't know. They could be slowing as we speak. There is one more racing franchise Nintendo has that's pretty big. Well, it used to be pretty big. In my opinion, that was pretty dope. Wave Race, bro. Wave Race 64 was so good. The water physics were so ahead of its time. I remember the time trials trying to get the fastest time. And so Wave Race, again, another game that could showcase the power of the Switch Pro. New water physics, um, higher resolution or possible frame rates on the Pro version of the game. I'll be in for a new Wave Race game. Bro! This game has been cranking in the rumor mill for a minute. A new Kid Icarus game. It would be the perfect game for the Switch. Bro, the problem with Kid Icarus, I beat it on my 3DS. The controls, man. You had to use a stand and the, trying to use the Nintendo doing too much. We got, two, we got a right stick. We got two thumbsticks. Native. You didn't have to buy the attachment. Um, like you had to do on the 3DS. We have two um, thumbsticks on the Switch. The flying stages were perfect. They needed to just tune, um, fine tune some of those ground missions and an all new Kid Icarus game. But Masahiro Sakurai is pretty busy with, busy with Smash. Six DLC characters just announced coming to Smash still. Man, so much content. And so I don't know if Sakurai, this was Sakurai's all, uh, all um, other baby. I don't know if he'll have time uh, for Kid Icarus. The dialogue in Kid Icarus, epic. 
All right, other notable entries that I think should come to the Switch Pro, a Golden Sun game. Bro, Nintendo had their own sport, first party sports games. If uh, EA keeps tripping, Ken Griffey, 1080p snowboarding, play action football, and Kobe Bryant um, courtside basketball, all first party Nintendo exclusive sports games. Of course, the games wouldn't look like this. They would run better because the hardware is better, but I'd be down for it, Nintendo. And other more than likely candidates for a 2020 announcement coming to the Switch Pro Switch, a new Pokemon game. Probably in the Let's Go. Um, I think Nintendo's going to do Let's Go uh, more um, um, easy to get into Pokemon game and hit you another year with a hardcore Pokemon game on another year. Since we just got more of a hardcore game with Sword and Shield, I think they're probably going to hit us with a Let's Go series next. And to close out the video, bruh, this is the game that got me hooked on online shooters, bro. Splatoon on the Wii U. It's time for Splatoon 3. Splatoon 2 has already grown long in the tooth. A Splatoon 3 is needed by the Nintendo Nation. And an honorable mention. A new Wario Land. Not just Wario Land, but a 2D Mario game. A new 2D Mario game announced. Is possible in 2020. Bro, if Nintendo's going to do a 2D Mario game, use an art style like this. A different, more cartoony, like Cuphead, more creative. Wario Land, shake it. The art style in this game was way more creative than the new Super Mario games. And so Nintendo has it in them. But an all-new 2D um, platforming game by Nintendo, I think, should happen on the switch switch pro this year all right dudes was there a game i possibly left out that you would like to see i um, launching on the switch pro sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo chibi robo no no nobody okay time to end the video you're still watching this video that means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Plays, and that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways, but that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch gaming discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime, you can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later. Peace.